obviously we are, um, you know, excited about continuing to play and have our season continue on. I thought we got a great effort from everybody that was that was able to contribute for us tonight. The energy was great, and um, I thought we played like we relished the opportunity to have a home game. Um, we obviously didn't think it maybe would be in this capacity, but you know, you, you could tell we we played hungry, which which was great to see. Um, we really just wanted to keep the ball in front. Like we know, they they got a lot of attackers, a lot of downhill drivers on their team. So if we keep the ball in front, and make them take contested jump shots, and that will work in our favor. Their best shooter is uh, probably uh, twenty three Hubbard and five Laster. So you know, get a hand and contest, contest all their shots, and just keep everybody else in front and uh, really box out because they're a good offensive rebounding team. So uh, try to make them take lower percentage shots than uh, than usual. Well, on, you guys held the starting backcourt. Yeah, absolutely. They, they um, you know, the kid Walker is really good. Uh, he's all all rookie guy for uh, our league, and he he's going to be very good. And we just wanted to make sure we kept him in front. We we changed some of our coverage up on the ball screen with him, uh, just to hopefully trap him sometimes. Uh, and sometimes we didn't. Um, he missed a few shots he probably thought he should have made. Actually, that I thought he maybe was going to make. And then uh, we just had to make sure we were just attached to Hubbard because he shoots the ball so well. So we wanted to make sure we ran him off the three-point line as much as possible, make him take contested shots. And it was hard to do that sometimes because we, we talk, as, as Michael was saying, we're trying to keep people out of the paint. But a guy like Hubbard, you have to push him off the line. And so I thought we did a good job with that, to just staying locked in, knowing where those two guys were at all times. Colin, the team defense seemed like it was there all night. Um, can you sense it in the other team when you guys are playing with like a unit like that, that they're really not going to be able to come, come back when you guys have a double? Um, yes, we definitely can, um, especially with the style of our the style of play we play. is very aggressive. It's very in your face. So um, you can tell it a lot just by their body language, um, maybe by the way they call a timeout or the way they run their plays or even the way they run to the bench. And what we call it is we call it as a win for us because eventually that stuff accumulates and, you know, it turns out sometimes the game's like this with a big win. Coach, Devon with a pretty minor stat line. But, you know, he's a senior, he's a walk-on. Can you talk about the energy that he brought tonight so what he helps to do? Yeah, devon has been big. Uh, he's been ready to play. Obviously, with the injury to Anthony, um, puts him in a position where he's got to help us out. And uh, we have a lot of confidence in Devon. You know, he's a, he is a walk-on for us, but he's he's a Division One scholarship player who just happens to be – we got lucky to have him as a walk-on, to tell you the truth. And uh, so he's been solid and taking care of his opportunity. That's – it's the next man up mentality. And um, it helps that he's a senior, though, because in basketball terms, he's a grown man. So, uh, we, you know, we think he can definitely provide a spot for us. He did it tonight, and he, he, he absolutely did it the last game we played at BU. Joe talked about it this year. You've talked about it at times. It seems like this tournament is going to be wide open. You guys going to Bucknell on the road, number one seed, is this like the perfect opportunity to show that that is for the Patriot League is maybe a very wide open race right now? Yeah, I think it's one of those things where – it's wide open because I think it's a lot of teams that have confidence that they can play with anybody. And because of how the league play has gone, everybody has beaten everybody else. So um, you do have some positive thoughts to reflect back on that you that you did win a basketball game against one of the top teams. But we know we know it's going to be tough. I mean, Bucknell's very good. They wouldn't be in first place if, if they weren't very good. Um, they're sound. They don't beat themselves. And um, But we know it will be tough. We've been preaching trying to be tough the entire time, so I guess it's probably fitting that if we're going to keep going on and keep playing, that we'd have to go through the, you know, through on the road and play the number one seed to start off with. But right now, all I know is we have to prepare a scout report and we have to practice, which means we're still playing. So I'll take it. Michael, where would you put the confidence of this team right now? Come off the last two games. Um, high, very high. Um, we walk in the gym with a championship mindset. We're not going to win the championship if we come in thinking, oh, we got to play in game. Oh, we got to play a number one seed. We're a lower seed. No. We're coming in thinking we're champions every day. So our mindset is high, and um, it's really starting to show when I play. And uh, as long as we keep that type of mindset and keep attacking aggressively, offensively, and defensively, um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Colin coached when we talked yesterday. You talked about Colin mm -hmm. coming on over these last couple of weeks. What, what's been happening for you? I think Four out of five games for you now, and double figure scoring. Um, well, I sit in the gym with my coaches and my teammates, and mostly um, people believe in me. Um, this might sound funny, but people just pass me the ball. Um, 
to keep shooting it. Um, I was really struggling. They could have, you know, you don't have to do that. So that sounds weird, but just pass me the ball to shoot it. Um, that gives me a lot of confidence because it showed, you know, when I was going through a rough patch that people still believed in me. So it's just all my my teammates and my coaches. The BU game is mostly about outside shooting, but Corrales seemed to have a pre poised game tonight. What did you see from him out there? Yeah, he, he played like a, a senior captain. Um, you know, he's he's been under the weather. He's been sick now for going on about a week and a half. So he just didn't have his wind all the way back yet. And, um, you know, we just hoping he doesn't pass it down to the team so we all stay away from him. <laughs> but uh, he's he, he, he did bring some poise to us. He was able to pull out and play time and score. He made some big pull-ups. And I thought he had some one-time passes, which continued to keep guys involved. So um, we're going to need him to do that. And, um, you know, he, he can make those plays. Again, an another another senior who's been through a lot. He's been, you know, he scored a lot. He's got a lot of assists. Um, his turnover to assist ratio was great for us this year. And so we, we trust him to make those plays. And he, of all people, for sure wants to keep playing. So whatever he has to do to continue to play, that's what he's going to do. Malcolm, you've always been a pretty vocal guy on the court. You know, going into these last few games for you, have you sort of changed anything going into the tournament with the way you try and be a leader? Um, I try to lead by example, but um, I have been trying to talk a little bit more. But I mean, it's not much you have to say with these guys. Like We all know our mission. We all know what we want to do. And we're all headed on the same path together. So um, not much more than encouraging and trying to do the best I can on the court. But I know everybody's running the same direction. So it, it makes it a lot easier. Anything else? All right. Appreciate it.